Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for October. This is your uh, bonus reading for October. But uh, this month, if you all want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But Pisces, let's see. Uh, crazy, there's two fish on this card right here. I'll show you that in just a second. And you have the High Priestess right here. So definitely probably in your elephant. Ele <laughs> I almost just said in your elephant this month. Wow. Uh, but probably in your element this month. Two aces. I love two aces. Two aces is basically a yes to any question that you could potentially have. It looks like to me it could be a little bit of a withdrawn month. I feel like it's going to be a good month. It's like you're focusing on yourself this month or you're focusing on kind of creating something that you want to create. But I definitely like two aces for you Pisces. To me that's a good sign. A lot of blue energy here. Whenever I notice like there's a lot of just blue, like every single card here is blue except for this four of swords. And so I do feel like it could be like a very, like you could be really using your mind this month. You even have the queen of swords here. Your overall energy for the month is the ace of swords. Um, what did I just say? <laughs> I feel like you could be really using your mind this month and be needing to be very sharp, quick-witted, uh, needing to use your um, mental faculties as well. I really feel that like things are kind of coming into balance for you if things have been out of balance this month of October for you here Pisces. The Ace of Swords has six yods, six little golden, they look like little golden leaves on the on a traditional Ace of Swords. And it kind of, they're in perfect balance on the card. And I, that's what's standing out to me right now. I also feel like it's time to do something that maybe you've been putting off as well. Three Aces, this could be, and you, you have the uh, Knight of Wands here as well. So it could be time for you to get started at, like on that project you've been putting off or it could be time for you to um, maybe like start have some sort of new beginning like new love or something along those lines. But definitely a very mental month for you here. Um, again, Mars will be retrograding into Pisces. It could be a very mental time. You could be feeling more withdrawn. You could be very focused with this Four of Swords on like resting, relaxing, recovering and doing all those things. So that's what I feel here. You do have the Inner Peace card. Again, I, I mean, like I would said, I mean, I feel like it's going to be a good month. Three aces now. I mean, you really can't beat that, Pisces. I definitely feel like it'll be a very good month. You could be at inner peace. You could be kind of gaining some inner peace as well. There could be like some sort of apology coming in with those two uh, swords cards. We'll talk about that in a minute, Pisces. But I feel like this could be providing you with some inner peace. Yeah. And there could be some miracles. I mean, this is shaping up to be a really nice reading. A, a little bit withdrawn. But again, um, this could be a good thing. Like this could say that there's not much you need to do this month to have good things. So <laughs> uh, I like that, Pisces. But definitely some miracles coming in for you this month. Uh, you have the High Priestess, the Ace of Cups, and the Five of Wands here. I feel like for some of you, you have experienced conflict in love. It could have been in and out energy here with the Knight of Wands. You also have the Five of Cups. I do feel like for some of you, uh, there could be regrets or sadness and or you could be dealing with like a breakup here. Um, you have the Five of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Five of Swords in this bottom row here. Uh, you also have the High Priestess, Five of Cups, Nine of Wands. It's like some sort of breakup has put you in a defensive position. Uh, you know, it could be the other person as well. Take it for how it resonates here, Pisces. But it's like somebody is being defensive in a situation uh, but I don't want to get too far off track here I feel like this right here is saying you need to trust your intuition um, the high priestess to me is your energy so you're showing up in a very strong position this month and you also um, you know kind of number one I feel like you need to trust your intuition but the high priestess to me says the sky is the limit this month the high priestess she has no roof over her head as I always say it kind of says that the sky is the limit I also do feel that some of you have a choice to make at this time um, the high priestess says you could either be miserable or you could be really happy <laughs> so the high priestess says choose to be happy. And I feel like it is a choice, of course, right? Uh, but uh, so I think you need to make that choice. I do feel like there could be some sort of love offer uh, coming in for you here that makes you really happy. But again, five of wands or some sort of conflict. We're going to clarify this in just a minute, Pisces. Uh, next, you have the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're just like very, I feel like you're very perceptive is a word that's popping into my head with the Queen of Swords. Uh, not really a word that I use um, with the Queen of Swords personally. Yes, I mean, perception is part of the Queen of Swords. But, you know, again, I just, uh, I read tarot like a crazy person. So 
you know, uh, I just don't use the um, word perceptive normally it, with the Queen of Swords, not like one of my key words with this card, but it is popping into my head here that you are kind of like very perceptive. I feel like you're very intuitive, but also kind of like being very logical. And I also feel like you're able to see like little tiny details this month. And I feel like that will lead to a lot of progress. You have this gazelle spear, which is like a card of progress or making huge leaps in progress. You have the five of cups, the ace of pentacles and the knight of wands. There could be some sort of regrets in a situation or sadness. Uh, I feel like for some of you, you do need to look, you know, kind of choose to be grateful for what you do have with this Two of Cups. Um, the High Priestess, like I said, the High Priestess can be a choice between um, that you're making between negative and positive. So I do feel like some of you need to kind of focus on the positive here. This can be, have, be kind of like feeling like you have lost something. I, you know, it's a card of having lost his take. Let me just back up here, Pisces. Basically, this guy has lost his taste for wine. He is crying here because, and he spilled all this wine out because he has lost his taste for wine. If he would just turn around, he would say, he would see that there's something new behind him here in these two cups. But he's like crying. He's like, I can't get over to this castle, which represents safety, security, comfort, protection, because there's no way I can swim across this river. If he were just to turn around, he would see this bridge back here that leads to this castle, which represents safety, security, comfort, protection. So I feel like for a lot of you, no stinking thing in this month. I feel like you need to stay positive. Uh, you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Uh, there's some sort of new adventure coming in for you here, Pisces, some sort of new beginning. And I feel like you need to move towards this new beginning. Definitely some sort of major idea. Three aces. Uh, Ace of Swords is like an idea, is a good idea as well. <laughs> so I feel like whatever ideas are popping in your head, uh, take action with this Knight of Wands. I do feel for some of you, this is like a player that you dealt with in the past. Could be a fire sign. Could be any sign. Earth is also popping into my head as well. So it could be an earth sign. But for most of you, I feel like this is like a really good idea that could lead to a lot of success that you need to get moving on. So I would get moving on your ideas. Major new beginnings this month. Three aces, Pisces, if I can't say that enough. Uh, next, you have the message in a bottle card here. I feel like for some of you, this could be communication. Again, ace of swords, this message in a bottle card. It's like there needs to be communication in a situation. For some of you, I feel like this is you needing to talk yourself into accepting these aces. Uh, these aces, but I, I feel like there's a lot going on for some of you here, Pisces, and I feel like it all boils down to that ace of swords. Like, how do I bring things into balance? How can I have money and love? How can I balance out work and love or work in my family? Like, how can I balance these two things out? I feel like you need to, number one, not overwhelm yourself with this message in a bottle card. Uh, number two, you have the nine of wands, four of swords, and the five of swords. Five of swords kind of says, like, you need to open up to teamwork. You need to open up to allowing people to help you in, you know, in all areas of your life. Maybe you have a business. Maybe it's time to hire an accountant. Maybe it's time to get someone to help you with it's a part of your business or whatever. I feel like you need to lighten your load in this last row. And I do feel like that should be a major focus for you here. I, I really do feel like you can it, you can kind of like have it all in, in a lot of ways, especially three aces. Uh, I feel like that's what you're working towards. This to me feels more like a long-term goal for you, Pisces. Yeah, but a lot of chaos and a lot of conflict. Again, two fives, these two fives down here uh, could be the chaos and the conflict that you're experiencing. I feel like some of you are conflicted. It's like you're not sure what to do. This comes up in Pisces readings all the time, like that you could have some goals, some things that you wish to achieve, Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, <laughs> and you're hoping for miracles. I feel like that the miracles are possible, but you have to believe it with the High Priestess. You have to take action with the High Priestess and the Knight of Wands here. Uh, the Knight of Wands says you have to take action. So I feel like some of you need to move towards something. It's like something seems impossible, Pisces, but I feel like it's totally possible, whatever it is. It could be like you wanting to start a business, you wanting to get into a relationship with someone. Uh, it could be anything, but I feel like you need to take action. But it's actually a pretty good reading, Pisces. So uh, let's see what the Lenormand has to say for you for October. Um, and by the way, Pisces, there will be mid-months this month as well for the middle of October. So we'll get an update on this energy in the middle of the month, as well as weeklies, of course. But you have the High Priest. Between the High Priestess and the Five of Cups, you have the Two of Diamonds. Two of Diamonds is like a perfect match. Um, so for some of you, uh, this could be a perfect match coming in for you in love. Uh, to me, right now, at this point in the reading, it's too early to say uh, exactly what that is. Could be some sort of legal settlement as well. But uh, I want to clarify through. Uh, between the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Four of Spades. Like I said, 
I feel like for some of you, you could just be resting, relaxing, recovering with this Four of Swords over here. It's like you're taking a break. Um, so I feel like for some of you, you could just be taking a break at this time. There are blessings coming in for you, Pisces. Uh, I almost, I practically ignored this whole last row here, <laughs> but um, I did talk about it. But, you know, this person is being blessed in this right up top here in this picture. There's this stained glass window and this, there's, it's going to be really hard to see, but there's a person receiving blessings in this stained glass window. I feel like for some of you, there are blessings coming in for you. Obviously, three aces, major blessings uh, coming in for you here. So love it. I feel like you're just kind of like in a, um, a waiting phase, if that makes sense, Pisces. Between the Five of Wands here and the Knight of Wands, you have the Fox. The Fox is tricky energy, sneaky energy, so definitely like some player energy that could have come in, in, in love, and this could have caused some problems. So I do feel like some of you were dealing with a tricky or sneaky person, possibly in the past, because the Five of Wands is coming up in your past position. Uh, this could have caused some pain, obviously. Five of Cups, um, Five of Swords here. I didn't even realize you have three Fives here as well. Three Aces, three Fives, very interesting. But I definitely feel like there was some tricky energy here. Uh, but between the Five of Cups here and the Nine of Wands, yeah, I feel like there's new love. Nine of Hearts. Nine of Hearts is called the Rider. It's like a knight in shining armor. So I feel like for some of you that maybe new love isn't coming in right away, but I feel like there is someone that will be riding into your life here after some sort of heartbreak. I do feel like some of you have become very closed off. Again, Five of Cups, losing your taste for wine, Pisces, but you know that could be you losing your taste for love, and it could have made you very defensive um, with the Nine of Wands. Maybe you were hurt very badly, and it's like this is you kind of being defensive, but this Nine of Hearts is saying like, hey, there's a Knight in Shining Armor that will be coming in for you, so make sure to open up. Like I said, probably not this month. This Four of Swords is telling me that you are about to receive blessings in love or any other area of your life but it's like I feel like you are maybe taking this month or most of this month like I said we're going to do a mid-monthly reading as well and we'll see what comes up but um, I feel like for the most part maybe you're taking some time to rest relax recover focus on yourself remember what I said at the beginning of the reading mostly blue cards here as well so I feel like a more withdrawn energy but I also feel like this is a good thing because I feel like you're just focusing on yourself here uh, in these situations um, in this middle row here between the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, you have the Queen of Hearts, love, love offer coming in. Uh, Queen of Hearts is called the Stork and it can represent like the mother. So some of you uh, could be having a child if you are getting pregnant. Obviously, if you're not doing the things you need to do to get pregnant, then I feel like you won't get pregnant. I feel like I shouldn't have to explain that, but um, I do. So I feel like for some of you, if you're obviously single, then you're not going to get pregnant, right? So. That's that. <laughs> but I feel like for some of you, it could be child. For others, you could be pregnant with an idea, right? You have these three aces. This is something that's going to make you very successful. I feel like if you're entrepreneurial, I feel like if you have a business, or even if you're just creative, I feel like this could be so, so amazing for you here, Pisces. I love it. Between the Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords, yep, the gentleman. This is like your true love coming in for you, Pisces. This middle row right here, I feel like, is a true love. The Ace of Hearts is your true love coming into your life here. Again, still a little bit defensive maybe, or maybe just a little bit closed off based off the past. But again, that's not really a problem. Uh, like I said, I feel like you're kind of like healing from it with this uh, Four of Swords here. So a lot of you could be just going through a healing from the past. And look, look at this. This is amazing. Uh, your top row, you have the Jack of Hearts. It's called the Heart. Uh, so for a lot of you, this is like a love offer coming in for you. Again, you were tricked in the past. Even if we go this way, it's like you were tricked in the past. You experienced a lot of conflict with a player-like person. Queen of Hearts, you're starting to get ready to open up for new love. Jack of Hearts, new love comes in. The Rider, new love charging into your life like a knight in shining armor. So um, probably in the future, it could be like later on this month. Of course, I think love is always available to us, but you know, it could be coming in at some point in the near future. In your middle row here, you have the ace of spades here, the, qu the lady. Uh, this is divine counterparts. I just did a reading for you for the week of September 28th or something like that, I think. And it was all about like divine counterparts. It was about, um, you know, kind of a perfect match coming in for you. So you know, this could be like a divine counterpart showing up in your reading, some of you. And again, I don't attach gender to my card, so it doesn't matter what gender you're attracted to. Um, just because it's a man and a woman doesn't mean it's a man and a woman. Uh, and I feel like this could be like a divine counterpart coming in for you with these two cards. So that's amazing. 
Uh, and your outcome here is the Queen of Clubs. Again, I still, for some of you, I feel like someone tricky from the past could be trying to come back here, Pisces. I'm actually gonna pull you an extra row in just a second, but it's weird how this bottom row is set up. And so I would be careful of anyone from the past. I feel like someone from the past could be very seductive. Uh, could be, there could be like a very strong attraction here, but I would say if they were a liar, cheater, stealer, like Seven of Swords type energy, I would be very ca cautious of allowing someone from the past back in. Some of you might, but uh, I don't, th like I feel like someone hurt you here, Five of Cups, Five of Wands, Knight of Wands, Five of Swords here, and um, I would just be careful of this energy. Five of Swords, you know, um, I just said this to like Gemini. There is a debate on the Five of Swords. Um, some people say these are three different people on the Five of Swords. Other people say that this is the same person on the Five of Swords at different stages of a battle. Uh, the first stage, they are crying. They have experienced some sort of loss in the background. Next, they have learned to walk away from situations in the first place. They've learned to walk away from battles and fights and things like that. And finally, you have this person here, the Five of Swords uh, at the front here. And it's like they've won the battle, but it's also like they're alone, you know, and they have all these swords, a uh, coffee pot going off right there every single time in your reading, Pisces. But um, it's kind of like, you know, now they're happy because they've won a battle, but at what cost? So, you know, I would be careful uh, is what I'm trying to say. I have someone from the past, but I just want to get some more uh, detail on this potential situation. Yeah, I feel like you need to be flexible this month, definitely. I feel like things, you know, are going to be all over the place. Yeah, the fates, <laughs> definitely. Uh, fate is playing a role. Three aces coming up for you here. You have the fool here, Pisces. The ace of swords twice. Oh my God. Four aces. That is crazy. So this is going to be an amazing month for you, Pisces. And the emperor here as well. I feel like you need to stick to a plan is what I'd say to you, Pisces. I feel for some of you. The fool is like saying you are more than ready. You are prepared in, you know, to me, I'm going to consider this your future outcome. I feel like you are ready. I feel like you are prepared for something great. I feel like you need to get ready to take a leap of faith. Ace of Swords, definitely time to take action. Here's the thing about the Ace of Swords is that there are mountains down below here on the Ace of Swords. And those mountains, uh, the, the sword is above the mountains. It kind of says that, you know, we will always be experiencing challenges in life, but the Ace of Swords comes into our life and it says, you will always be able to conquer any challenges that come in in the future. So I feel that for some of you, this is saying, yes, there will always be challenges, but you will always be able to overcome those challenges. I feel like some of you have made a sacrifice recently as well this uh palm there's a palm frond right here on the side of the ace of swords and it kind of represents some sort of sacrifice that you could have made in the recent past but i feel like there's a lot of success i really feel like this is your energy i feel like some of you could be dealing with an aries pisces but i feel like some of you are just bossing up at this time i feel like you're really taking care of business in life in general and i feel like there's just a lot of amazing new beginnings coming in for you here. So I would really like to see that. Uh, this is a really good reading, Pisces. I really like it. Maybe a little bit more of a withdrawn month, but at the same time, uh, four aces. I, like, do I need to say more <laughs> than four aces? That's crazy. And uh, definitely a lot of abundance, you know, coming in, in the future. Um, but I feel like like all sorts of stuff coming at you. I would just like slow things down. I would make sure to have a plan with the emperor card here as well. Like if you have a business, I would just tell yourself, I'm gonna do this, these things every single day. And it could be anything. Like for me, for example, right? I do three videos every single day, no matter what. And, and sometimes I do more and that's great. And then I have a really productive day when I do more, but I always do three videos uh, every single day before I sit down to go live every single day. I usually have a, tar I have a tarot book right here, right? I always flip through tarot books because I'm always trying to expand my knowledge and learn more. Ace of Swords twice here, Pisces. Ace of Swords says that you should be learning as much as you can. I've been preaching this for a long ass time, right? And to me, Pisces, uh, all that energy in Capricorn, it says the more you learn, the more you earn. So I feel like the aces are saying, you know, even if you just take a few minutes every single day to learn something new, you will be successful. So this is amazing. So thank you for watching, Pisces, and definitely enjoy your month.